Hi, welcome to tutorial series on 8051 microcontroller programming and interfacing. For more information, you can log on to or you can visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. You can download the required softwares uh, from that website. You can also the visit the web, web page of this video on that website. In this, uh, this is a project fun video in the in the same in a continuation of the tutorial series. Along with lessons, we will create some of the projects in this tutorial series. So this uh, this project is based on obstacle avoidance robot. So uh, oops, uh, <coughs> uh, now let's see what will be the component which will be required for completing this project. Uh, this is the project or oh, this is the robot which we have assembled uh, for this particular project video. So we will uh, you will be needing one chassis like this two DC motors so that uh, this robot can further move uh, and along with wheels one caster wheel at uh, front and or in other sense you can make any movable uh, base as per your requirement or as per the component which are available to you then further we have two IR sensor here uh, if you want to make it more complex you can attach more than one IR sensor to the robot we have uh, used only two IR sensor and we have attached at the front of the robot then we need a motor driver eye circuit so we have two DC motors so we have used a single motor driver circuit or single motor driver IC which can control uh, two DC motor at a time and we need one development board of this uh, 8051 based development board which will be used to control uh, all of this and we need uh, further we need some of these connecting wires and lastly we need a power source a battery along with it so we have used a very crude battery uh, one of the disadvantage of this one it uh, generally exhausted very soon while running this DC motor so we suggest you can use some high-end batteries again based on your requirement so this is this is what we have assembled for this project and at the end of this video we will show you how it works so all of these uh, programs which we uh, like interfacing this IR sensor and DC motor interfacing to it is a fiber microcontroller we have already done in our, pre in our previous lessons lesson 10 and lesson 9 so this project is just an extension of these two lessons like uh, once we understand how to interface IR sensor or how to interface DC motor how can you use how can we use this information to make some really uh, like to make some application based on that so this is uh, some one application based on previous two lessons so now let's uh, move forward towards theoretical analysis to understand uh, how we will write a program for that so we have seen some of the basic component which are required to make this project and how to uh, we also seen uh, how to uh, assemble them so that is very easy now we will now we will see uh, what is the connection diagram and how we, and then how to write a matlab code uh, for this obstacle avoidance robot before writing a code uh, for the robot uh, one of the prior thing is to understand the connection diagram of it so if we have seen like uh, this is our robot architecture so we have one wheel here uh, which is connected to DC motor and one wheel here so we can say uh, DC motor 1 and we can say this is DC motor 2 or this is right and, and this is right motor and this is left motor. Now we have two IR sensor. So we can say this is right sensor and this is 
left sensor so this is the crude way or crude picture uh, of the robot uh, which we have uh, assembled for this video now as far as this connection diagrams uh, are concerned uh, in our previous video we already have understand we already have understand like how to interface this dc motors to 8051 microcontroller those are connected through the motor driver ic so and we also have learned how to interface this ir sensor based on that how we can perform the task so we have these two sensor right sensor and left sensor uh, at pin 1.0 uh, this uh, rs sensor is connected at p 1.0 and left sensor is connected to pin 1.1 so remember that right sensor is connected to pin 1.0 and left sensor is connected to pin 1.1 similarly uh, for motor for single motor we have two connections and so we will need four pins to interface for dc motor now this right motor is connected to pin 2.0 and pin 2.1 so these two pins are for right motor that means in our case this dc1 that means for dc motor 1 connections are connected 2.0 and 2.1 and similarly 2.2 and 2.3 pins are connected to left motor or second DC motor DC 2 <coughs> so this is some of the architectural diagram and we don't have any other uh, external circuit which is connected to its uh, 5 and micro so once again this uh, so once again right sensor is connected to pin 1.0 and left sensor is connected to pin 1.1 uh, right motor is connected to 2.0 and 2.1 and left motor is connected to 2.2 and 2.3 one need to understand is prior to uh, 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 connecting a power supply once uh, motor is assembled we need to sh make sure like at 2.0 and 2.1 uh, when we say 0 1 and 0 1 both the motor is run in same direction. So let's again see. Now uh, we know. Uh, so let's say uh, what command should be given to port two in order to make robot run. So we have port two uh, at which our motor uh, robot is concerned, and specifically at last four pins our robot is connected. So uh, and then we have sensor. Uh, this is right sensor and this is left sensor. So there could be two things. We have seen uh, this IR sensor gives one when there is an obstacle in front of it. So first case is when there is no obstacle in front of them. So both the sensor will go zero. Will give zero zero. So in that case, both the motors should run in forward direction. So we'll write assuming at 0101 uh, motor runs in forward direction so now prior to running the robot uh, you need to make sure once you have assembled and you apply 0101 you need to make sure that both the runs are moving in forward direction and if they are not you just change the polarity in order to make it uh, run in forward direction that's it simple uh, and this is also we have discussed in previous video now if suppose there is a obstacle in front of right sensor then left sensor is giving zero then that means we need to take turn left so we need when there is obstacle in right sensor so we need to take turn left for the case of turn left uh, there are two kind of turns like uh, suppose this is a robot and these are two wheels one wheel and second wheel so if this uh, motor rotate in forward direction and uh, this rotate in backward direction then this robot will turn around its axis so we will take this kind of turn so for making turn left this motor should go in forward direction and this was for forward so 0 1 
and this motor that means left motor should back so this is a for left motor so it should be slow so we can say like this two for left motor and this two for right motor now there could be another case when one zero is there that means in front of left sensor there is obstacle in front of right sensor there is no obstacle so robot should turn into right direction and in that case this uh, wheel should move in forward direction and this wheel should move in backward direction now uh, our robot will uh, turn in this direction in this direction it will turn right so for turning right uh, it should move forward and it should move backward now there is uh, another case when uh, there is obstacle in front of both of the sensor that means both sensor are giving to us so uh, but we should we should first move backward so there are two options based on two uh, two steps when uh, obstacle is in front of both the sensor first we should move backward one zero and one zero and then we should either turn left or turn right either turn left or turn right so because we know when obstacle is in front of both of the sensors so first move backward for some direction and then turn left or turn right so based on that this is our logical flow uh, we have considered all the situations and based on that we have considered so how we will how will our robot move forward so now we will see how to implement this particular command so this particular logic into C language. So let's move. Let's open Keel. Okay. Now create a new project. Now, this is PRJ and select Technal and select the TH9S52. Uh, create a C file, project.c, and then add. to this current project and then also options for hex file now let's write program as include reg52.h and then signature for ms delay First, write a uh, function for delay. Uh, we have discussed all these things in our previous lesson, so if you are new to it, you can uh, reference to our previous lessons, lesson 8 and 10, putting the same. The unsigned the entire J. Now, for I plus 2 is 0. I and T and then I plus plus and four J equals to zero. This goes on one two seven five and then J plus plus. These are the list of the team and now we will define one variable because we will be reading the sensor data. And let's initialize it to zero. So sometimes we can say some garbage value in order to avoid some inconvenience so let's define an infinite loop now within that infinite loop first we will read the port data our sensor is connected to port 1 so we connect to port 1 and because 
uh, our sensor is connected to starting two pins so we will mask all other pins by making a logical AND operation with 0x03 now you can understand why we have connected 0x03 because we want only these two pins to be red 1 1 and all other pins is 0 so the data will become 0 0 0 0 0 1 1 so it will become hexadecimal 3 now there could be uh, there will be four cases when a is plus 2 0 x 0 0 that means when there is no obstacle in front of the robot so robot will move simply in forward direction so 0 x so the port for forward is 0 1 0 1 and that's the pins are 0 0 5 h so it will keep moving in forward direction and then I'll say uh, let's say if a equals to 0 x 0 1 that means uh, if um, there is an obstacle in front of right sensor like this is 0 1 so in front of right sensor we need to turn left so for turning left it is 0 x 0 9 it is making uh, P2 equals to 0x09 0 0 and it should do uh, for some amount of delay because otherwise we are not making any delay it will just uh, take a tilt very slightly and now let's uh, let's see if there is a delay with, uh, uh, there is optical in front of left sensor so now it should make a turn right now when there is a obstacle in front of left sensor left sensor should take a turn right and will it, will be, it come the data which should be sent to port 2 should be 0 6 so p2 goes to 0 x 0 6 then again i must delay and uh, last case else when uh, it will be when there is an obstacle in front of both the sensor then first it will move backward 0 x 0 a for some duration of time let's say 300 seconds and then it will take turn right to left so we have taken uh, turn right so for making turn right it's 0 6 you can make it uh, anything either turn right or turn left and now it will work that's it we hope now let's save it and let's compile uh, yeah it's fine let's debug and have a look so we have port 1 and we have port 2 so let's say right now we are if these are 1 1 that means last two pins are 1 1 that means it is saying obstacle is front of both the sensors so it will go to in right last it will first turn left and it will then turn right let's say we have left sensor so it will move into turn right so so our code is working fine we also simulated it so now next step is to burn the program into the code prior to running uh, we have assumed like 0101 first step is when there is no obstacle in front of it robot should turn forward and correspond forward we have assumed this command so in order to you need to make sure like when there is no obstacle both the motors are running in forward direction and if they are not running you can make them run but just by changing the polarity of the motors now uh, let's start our program this one let's connect it and open hex file then just upload uh, so you can identify and then upload or 
uh, if you have some other method to program your radio fiber microcontroller you can upload the hex file from that method so we will see if the programming is done so if you are making this project first time it uh, could be very cumbersome job or you may be exhausted because uh, there are many minute details uh, while running uh, or while assembling the robot like uh, where should go plus 5, where should go ground, where, from where we should get uh, 12 volt supply. So all these small small things sometimes frustrate person. So have patience and uh, keep debugging it if it is not working first time. Keep uh, looking for the solution, keep debugging it where you have gone wrong. So once all the things are fine, uh, your robot will work and it is very satisfying and you see uh, your first robot moving. So I hope you do it at your hand, that will be better. So program uploading is done, it is nearly done. So program uploading is done, now let's see how the robot is performing. Hi, we have downloaded the program onto the hardware and this is the uh, picture of the hardware. Now let's connect power to it and see how it works. So generally it consumes lots of power so we are using just a small batteries for it. You can use rechargeable batteries for that because it consumes really a lot of power. As soon as we have connected power Yes, so it is avoiding obstacles by moving somehow. Yeah. Now let's see. As soon as the obstacle is changing path, as per logics we have written. Let's see. Okay. So the obstacle is not covered. In front, it's black checked, and generally, these IR sensor doesn't detect black object in front of them. Let's see, yeah. this brush is really very slow, they consume lots of power, they are getting exhausted very easily. So this is how our project is working. So, you can try it, and yeah use it with the more battery power than this simple one it doesn't work with these motors okay so that's it for this project thank you so you have seen how the robot was uh, performing uh, when we have uh, run it in real time so it is very satisfying to see when you see your project is really working so I hope you understand a lot from this project video and if you have some doubt you can comment uh, or you can mail us your doubts or you can comment below this video. That's it for this video. Thank you.